Okay, hello guys, Kazuxin is here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the KZ12 iron farm that I make in the Hamstick server. Well, um, it's not very hard as you can see because it's, ha it's just the same as any usual um, look as uh, anyone would like. Uh, it's, uh, actually, it's just the same as anyone that there is in the tutorial in the YouTube that have four. Uh, village holding uh, but this time it's going to be 12 okay first you are going to need all the stuff here uh, uh, usually especially a building block any anything that you like and the first thing you need to do is make a 7 by 7 place that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this will be the chamber uh, for the killing chamber just going to fill it up with something like that or just leave it like that uh, and then we are going to the middle one two three this four we go this time we are going to go 11 15 up not 11 i you can do it 11 but i recommend to go 15 because there's a reason for that so one two three okay that's down with the 11 and we're going to get stand it eight to the back Well, uh, well, at this stage, it's just the same as you can, as you usually see as any others. Like you, we go like this, just to make the thing. You can use the dirt because we're going to put the, uh, the fence gates around it, and then, then we take this out, and after that. We put the glass surrounding it. And we open the pin skate. Oh yeah, we need to put the water as well. Okay, so the reason that I recommend to go 15 not 11 because even at 11, I see that the golem sometimes still spawn on the ground so th when I go 15 it won't spawn on the ground so we don't have uh, any loss okay so the next thing is we're going to make the uh, villagers holding place oh wait one two one two oh there you go okay here yeah uh, you guys already do not uh, know that that we just go like this make the place And we put a bat. We put a s uh, grindstone work area, and then we put the thing. That's like that. Uh, but I made a bit uh, alteration on here. Usually you go five range, but I make it four. Uh, that's one, two, three, four. So it's a bit closer because sometimes. It's work sometimes it doesn't work when I go five. So when you go four it's just seven gap from the uh, villager and the zombie so it still on it can detect. So put that one top, glass on the front, cover in the sides, and put a glass again. Up oh. up oh. <laughs> Okay, so that's one down, we put this and on top of here we put a slab. After that done, we put one temporary block on the front and we put a trapdoor close to it and put that. That's all done. Okay, after you're done with all this thing, you just have to uh, do the same thing on all four sides. So we get you get we get the same pla uh, the same shape as this one on four sides. Uh, let me do that. Uh, quickly do that okay after you're done with the four center face I call it the four center face that's because they say the usual shape that everyone use and this is the part that's going to be more different that you guys are going to need but at least, uh, first don't forget to make the chamber a bit higher you know as usual you see make it uh, a bit higher like that 
and dig to block down so like that you get the killing chamber for the lava i think that's a normal thing you guys can do it too, but this is the important part is that you guys need to do is when you go for the you for the part that you need to make the for the eight more hope village fly is holding the first thing you need to do is go here you are going to from here this one two three from here you need to go one two here and one two three yeah and this one is going to be where you are going to put your zombie so break this out uh, we're going to be the put the one down uh, down below it and then as usual we're going to put it like this and this because we in this time we are going to use two front because one of the village is going to be here and the another village is going to be here so do like that put it that, that way the front temporary blocks uh, another blocks another temporary blocks a slabs you put that thing up pressing over there another trapdoors and here also trapdoors and break it and you get it like that and i going to rec tell recommend you guys to block this as well because the golem if you didn't block that place oh, the golem will see that uh, zombie so he's just going to stop and trying to hit that so he's stopping here not going to fall down so that's a precaution for that and then he's just going to do the same as that but backward so one two three four block break this one two three four break this and we make that uh villager place like that i'm going to be show you guys put of the same place so you can see it double the time so it just it's busy because this time instead of the we're going to backward from the zombie villager to the uh, villager holding instead of from the village holding to the uh, zombie holding okay so from here we're going to one two three break that break that put it down here ah oh. uh, going to be go to here and here uh, like that <laughs> okay sorry about that so we're going to go to top put it like that break it put, put the bed and the grindstone after that we all set well if you guys are feel uh, a bit unclear on the first one i'm going to show you again on this side so from this corner we're going to use this one one two three on front go to out and this one one two three go to out we're going to use this one break this break this and put a block down and put the glass on the front as you can see the front out they're going to the outward side and a block on the right break that middle put put two glass on the back side uh, temporary blocks and trap doors trap doors and trap doors so you're going to be like that break it break it break it so you're going to be like that well i forgot to put a <laughs> slab on top usually need to put a slab so the zombie doesn't get burned so we're going to go one two three four break the back so this is going to be the uh <coughs> villager holding we're going to go two block up uh, and we put a glass and then the grindstone and lastly the bat put two blocks like this put one trap doors for that and break it and that's all done and we do all sides and then we're going to get two four six eight and then another four on the outside so we got 12 villager uh holding villagers so that's been 12 chance to spawn in a single minutes so in confidently i can say that four golem will spawn uh in one minute 
if it's still on set reset if it already have full reset at maximum eff efficiency this can go like six to eight uh in one minute because uh if i remember the villager need to around 30 seconds re reset time to be able to spawn a golem again if i remember correctly and we got 12 chamber that mean we got a very high uh probabilities to get that much because my iron farm in the uh in the hamsick server right now can produce like 1500 to 2k uh i in one hours because uh, Pern was <laughs> FKing there for like a few hours and it's just res keep on resetting every night, resetting, resetting till it m reaches max capacities and here I am back again in the hamstick where my iron farm is because this this one is going to show you guys the very max capacities uh, abilities of the spawn as you can see there are three spawn right now in just a single one uh, and this is the very look of the very completed farm. I put a kind of put this thing, put a la lantern on the front, on the top, so mob doesn't want to spawn anywhere. That has the possibility to spawn, and put a slab on top here. So if it's raining, uh, the thunder doesn't strike the villager and turn them into witch. It's a pretty good farms, and you are done with it. As you can see, there's another one that already spawned out, and then sometimes it just spawn one time, sometimes it spawn twice as much. Something can go three at a once. That's depending because I didn't use the redstone for them. If I use the redstone to open it and then off on the time, it's going to get like 12 iron golem per time. That That's going to make things very laggy, so I don't like to do that. Oh, no. Ah, oh, come on. Well, so anyway, this is kind of the. As you can see, it seems like Pernod already takes some, but this is the. I get like 2000 ironing it in just one hour. So that's all for today. I see you again next time. And this is my first tutorial about the mob farm. See you guys again next time. That's it. It's out. Bye. Oh